8 p.m. It is the weekend. So, this fortnight we are talking about nerdy crossovers, and for me, I have always been a fan of animation, and actually, not a lot of people know this about me, but I still like Ben 10, which is a show about a kid who has 10 superhero forms that he can transform into, and he does it with the power of this watch that he wears called the Omnitrix. Anyway, Ben has a alien form called Diamond Head, who is basically crystals and gems formed into a humanoid structure and he can fire those gems to, to attack enemies. Another animated show that I like to watch on the theme of gems is Steven Universe. And Steven is part gem, part boy, and his kind of family is this network of other gem humanoids and I think that a cool crossover would be if Steven Universe were to meet Diamond Head or go to Diamond Head's planet and have an adventure with those gem people and see how they differ from Crystal Gems. Maybe actually they're related to Crystal Gems, who knows? It'd be a really interesting crossover story that would be cool to see, I think. My nerdy pleasure is that the new Thor movie is finally out and I'm going to see it this coming week with my friends and my nerdy question for you guys is animation. Is it for kids? Do you enjoy any traditionally kid related animated shows? I'm also a really big fan of the Last Airbender universe. Uh, Aang from the first one and Korra from the second one. The whole set of airbenders, earthbenders, firebenders, waterbenders. We've had countless conversations about what uh, type of bending we would perform and what type of bending various people would perform. In fact, the nerdiest conversation I've ever had was going through the list of Harry Potter characters and seeing what kind of bender they would be. Just how that fathoms, you know, combining these nerd isms and seeing how they work. In fact, that's another nerdy crossover. Hey, look, on the theme of the video, how cool am I? That being said, Kyle, I will see you on Tuesday. The rest of you guys, peace out.